saw the, the video from a few minutes, uh, about half an hour ago, um, <laughs> please ignore it. <laughs> Just for now. Just for the time being. Um, that was a special little surprise I had for her. And I had no idea. No, she was... had no clue, thankfully. It was a complete another surprise to her. Which was great. He proposed. Yes. Yes, I did. And I said yes. So now we are no longer boyfriend girlfriend, we are fiancés. <laughs> and now we're back to our actual what we were planning on doing from the beginning, which was our taste test today. Right. Uh, we actually there's an Asian market that just opened up near where I, where I live and where I work. Uh, it's called 99 Ranch. It's throughout the U.S. as far as I know. I know they have them out in California, and now I know they have them here in Texas. Great if you love Asian food great place to go, especially for the live seafood they have. They have fresh live fish that are swimming in tanks, still. Yeah. Uh, I've never seen it. It was... You can smell it. Yeah, it was interesting you, to you see. You can smell the fish water. It's pretty cool, though. Uh, so we decided to grab a bunch of snacks. So, okay, might as well hide I, that somewhere. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, excuse me. And so for today, we had... Oh, also later on, we might do a little bit of an unboxing while we're doing this stream. Yeah. Because... What was recently released is our favorite game series, Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. Finally released. Although it released a few days ago, but still. We well, finally... this is the first time we've been able to get out, out to GameStop mm -hmm. to get it. So, except for the drinks here, everything else on this table is all stuff that we actually picked up. So we have actually got cream, what's it called a, I guess it would be a cream bun or a cream roll. I got a <coughs> spicy peanuts. Our favorite, ramune. I got some little tapioca snacks that I decided I want to check out. And sweet, spicy... Crispy fish snacks. Or fish, fish chips. chips. And then... Churros! Because churros. <laughs> Gotta love them. Yeah. They're not, they're not going to be as good as fresh churros. Nothing is. Yeah. But those should be at least close. We, yep. these, we got three different flavors of the buns. We have the uh, Hokkaido cream. Okinawa brown sugar, and of course chocolate. Yeah, I know, that sounds weird. It's like, Japanese, Japanese. Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the ramune going. Yes, ramune. Just hope we don't spill it everywhere. Yeah, these these can be a pain in the ass to open sometimes. Agreed. I always have to have him help me, because I uh, can't get the marble to go down Yeah. on my own. The marble's an issue. It's also, in some places, referred to as marble soda, simply because there is a marble, if you can see it right here, right at the top, right there, that you gotta push down. Now, when you actually go to drink the soda as you're tipping back, if you get too far, the marble will bump over this little ridge right here and block the soda from coming out. Which helps in case of spills. Yeah, helps reduce spills. So I got the... She grabbed the lychee, I have the melon. <laughs> Makes an interesting sound. Let me see if I can try. Let me get on the table. Table helps. Okay. Well, you gotta take it. Missy, you gotta take the thing out of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Can't very well push it down. Okay, nope. Go ahead. <laughs> Watch her struggle for a minute. Man. I'm usually good at opening jars and stuff, but that I can't do. There it goes. Nice little pop part of, sound. Part of the sound is because my, it's the air escaping over my hand, so it's kind of got a little squeak to it. Okay, let's try this one. Oh, that smells good, too. Oh, it does smell good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I haven't tried that one yet. Mmm, that does smell pretty good. That one's actually sweeter than mine. Than mine. Yeah, your melon is nice and refreshing. The melon is nice, light, sweet, not overly sweet, which a lot of sodas can be over sweet. I'll have to say ramune is actually on the nice, lighter side of sweetness. Yeah, which is good. Which is very good when you don't want, if you don't like sweet stuff. Ramune is very good. Well, I'm gonna try the spicy peanuts. You're so for welcome. me, ramune is always a ten out of ten. Welcome to try them with me. Oh, your uh, kill me peanuts. <laughs> They're not gonna be that hot. Well, maybe to you. Remember, I'm a wuss when it comes to spice, little missy. Okay. Oh. Those actual pepper pieces. <laughs> yeah, actual pepper flakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting over uh, the, having a bit of sickness recently. I was a little sick yesterday. And 
I think I'm She might it. be getting something, so. Oh well, I don't care. I'll kiss him anyways. Okay, let's try this. Waiting, waiting. Analyzing. Not spicy at all. Mm, Might be because you're supposed to eat the pepper with them. Maybe. Shake before eating. Nice. I got to shake it. Yeah, you did. You're supposed to, I think you're supposed to eat the peppers with it. Okay, let's try. No, not very spicy. It's a little herby, but not spicy. No, not very salty either, but not bad. Mm. I can feel a teeny tiny warmth at the back of my throat just a little. Just, uh, just a smidge, uh, even me. Kind of like the Taco Bell <coughs> hot sauce. Not hot, but it has a slight warmth. Oh, and the cough is from the fact that I'm recovering from being sick, so <laughs> not because it was hot. Next time I'm going to try the spicy sunflower seeds. Yep. So next up we have, hmm, what do we do? Let's do one of the cream buns each. That sounds good. Which flavor do you want to try? Uh, I think I'm going to try the chocolate. All right, I think we'll go with the Okinawa brown sugar. It's actually got nice. Ooh, it's smelling Ooh. Like it smells almost like a, <laughs> a King they, Hawaiian roll. They got a little pad underneath. That's neat. Yeah. It's not it's not almost like the King Hawaiian rolls. Oh, that one smells really sweet. It smells different, doesn't it? it? Smells like brown sugar. I love brown sugar. Smell this one. That one's lighter. It's, it they smell actually like... do have a different scent. You'd be surprised. They I know you guys don't have we don't have smell o vision yet, sadly. <laughs> do you really really want smell o vision? Sometimes. If you're watching a cooking show, yes. If you're watching if You're the... watching things like Dirty Jobs, hell no. <laughs> no. Or Deadliest Catch. <laughs> oh, they're easily pulled apart, so we can actually split them in half. Okay, let's see about that. Oh, that. Yeah, it looks like they have a score right in the middle. A little bit, or it's or just split. But mine had that little score right here. I think that's where mine split, too. So I think they have, like, a little score. It's almost like they're intended to split open. That's pretty like nice. That. That's pretty nice. Wish some of our American foods were like that. Oh, yeah, right. Like yeah. our rolls that you're supposed to, you know, cut open. Mm-hmm. This would be so much easier if they did it this way. Oh, that's pretty nice. Okay, here's this one. Okay, let me try that one. I'm gonna try the, the brown sugar first. Not too sweet. Mmm. A bit like, uh, it is remind, reminiscent of a King's Hawaiian roll. Or a brioche bread. Or a bri definitely on the brioche side. But it's a little sweeter than a brioche. It is. But it's not bad, it's really good. Yeah. What would you rate that? For the cream buns? Mm hmm Since I have the brown sugar, mm -hmm. five out of ten, probably a good six or seven. Yeah, I put mine about, about the same, about six, seven. Let's try the chocolate one now. Time for the chocolate. Mm -hmm. A little lighter on sweetness and just a hint of chocolate. Yeah. Still very good. It's a little bit lower though. This, these would be good for a uh, French toast. I was gonna say French toast or something like that would be really good. Oh yeah, good. cut them. Well, oh, for dessert. Oh yeah. That's the, typically they're eaten as dessert at meals. For, True. If you watch a lot of anime like we do, like I do. <laughs> Melon bun. That's the one I'm, I want to try. I want to try a moon cake. Mm-hmm. The chocolate though is just nice and light. It's not overly chocolatey. Definitely reminds me more of a King Hawaiian roll. It does. But that actually has a slightly sweeter flavor. It does. It has more of a, you have more of a pineapple flavor to it. True. We'll be eating the rest of these later. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're not going to go to waste. Now, we're going to try the Hokkaido cream. Continue with the, the, the bun. Mix. Oh, wow. Oh, you got to smell that. Oh, it's really different. It's coconutty. It's very coconut-like. Oh, that smells really good, though. 
I like how the bread's nice and soft. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's different. It smells good. It smells really good and tastes really good, too. Wow, this is great. These are delicious, guys. If you can go to a 99 Ranch and you can find these things, I recommend them. They are good. And they're not... Not really dense either. They're nice and light on flavor. Yes. I'm trying to get some Ziploc baggies. Yeah, probably. Let me go grab some. I'll be right back. Let me just mix them together. Sure, I think. I don't think it's going to hurt. Just pop one of these in there with it. Yeah. <laughs> just in case. Why do? I don't know what the hell this thing is. Which one? This little absorbent thingy or whatever the hell it is. It's probably keep the grease out. I don't really know. You know how the Hawaiian bread has the little the Hawaiian bread rolls? It says, fre it's a, it's a freshness preserver. Oh. I can finally read the freaking English text on here. Huh. They got all kinds of different languages on here and in teeny bitty little bitty letters English. Here we go. I got a couple extra. All right. Whew, so we're, gonna put, we're just going to toss them all in here. I'll just go ahead and put a couple of these in there. Just in case, and then... It's probably like the, uh... Some of the other ones you, you see. Flying chapstick. Flying chopsticks! <laughs> Why does that sound like somebody's martial art move? Flying chapsticks? Yeah, it does. If you've ever watched, like, Shaolin Showdown or something like that. Wait, let me try this. Let me try this. Bag. Here. Oh uh, yeah, we still got this. I forgot to take home with me. Yeah. Here you go. This one works too. Oh, that works. Let's, we'll save them. Mm -hmm. well, let's see what else. Okay, let's go ahead and put this in the trash. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Ramen ain't got love. Now for my little experiment, the tapioca snack. And I got chocolate, sun, chocolate covered sunflower seeds, which I'm a big fan of sunflower seeds. It's funny that it shows it on a drink. So the question is, are you actually supposed to put it in a drink or is it just something you munch on? That I do not know. We'll find out. Swordfish brand. Seriously, this is a brand on it. Right up here. You guys can see it. It says swordfish. Uh, it's kind of hard to read, but it says swordfish brand. Maybe you can read it backwards. It was also kind of blurred out because of the camera. Hmm. I think my mom's responding. What'd she say? She says, wait, are you planning on being married by that day? <laughs> uh, yeah, we haven't whole, told a whole lot of people yet. <laughs> you guys, but our families don't really watch YouTube. Thankfully. My sister does, which she's actually one of the subscribers here. But my family, my brother and them, yeah, they watch YouTube, but they don't know that we do YouTube. Yeah. They don't. And it's more the kids' YouTube, because my brother has four kids, so he wouldn't really watch this. Okay, these definitely need to be in a, uh, Drink? a liquid or uh, some sort. Uh, <laughs> okay, guys, that, that was a failed experiment right there. <laughs> Save it for later. Maybe you can use them in a drink. No, they smell weird. They smell like sawdust. Oh, that is awfully strong. <laughs> <coughs> we'll figure that one out later. Would you like to try some seeds? Yeah, sure, why not? They're pretty good. Mm hmm. I'm just waiting for mom's response text. She's been on my case about finding a better paying job. Before I proposed. So I kind of told her after the fact so she wouldn't be on my case anymore. But she's still going to be on my case. Uh, she'll, she'll be on my case until I move out. Moms, what are you going to do? Yeah, but we, we love them. Mm -hmm. My mom was very happy. What'd you say? What'd you say? I'm just going to let you read it because that's funny. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. His mom likes me, but we really haven't interacted much, 
so... But hey, she likes me! At least I hope I think she still does. I was totally surprised by this. He had asked my mom for my hand in marriage about... It was a few, several months ago. Back, what, last... Uh, it was last year. La yeah, last year before they went to the Basque, mm -hmm. so about April, May. Mm -hmm. We're almost back onto that. I was actually, at the time, working on getting the ring, and that is actually a custom ring. Let me, let me get it up to the camera so y'all can see. Oh, the other Ramane. It is based on her favorite Keyblade. The Elf Keeper from Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and all the other Kingdom Hearts. Yes, and every it has a subtle variation depending upon the Kingdom Hearts, but this one... Not the red mess, but it's blurry. This was the one that I, I felt strong. I, we actually saw the design online. My, my mom helped me... Actually, my mom was the one who helped me get that ring. Oh. She uh, has contact in California. Now, I can't tell you any, any too much more information, but this person uh, sells rings and stuff like that for decent price. I mean, for the amount that I paid for that thing, it was worth it. Plus, I got to pick the perfect stone. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> Take a guess on the quality. Uh, I should know, since my mom did jewelry as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. It was a while ago. What was it? That's a perfect diamond. Ooh. It is colorless. No inclusions. Oh, wow. Whatsoever. <laughs> I had two choices. The other one was slightly yellow in color. It didn't look as good. I was actually, because we had the contacts and all that, we actually got to, I, I got to find what I wanted. Yay. I'm happy. And of course, he didn't have to do all this, all that. No, that she, she doesn't care for the really sparkly stuff, but and it's actually not very sparkly because it's mostly white gold. White gold with a white diamond, not as sparkly. Yellow gold with a white diamond, much Ooh. more sparkly because of that color contrast. You gotta but understand. I'm more, I like more silver jewelry. I mm -hmm. never really went for the white gold. But the white gold works. Yeah. And also, I mean that white gold, yellow gold. Yeah, yellow gold. Or even. I don't mind yellow gold accents, mm -hmm. rose gold accents. Mm -hmm. Well, this one is yellow gold accent, which is it yes, works perfect. out perfectly. Whew. There's actually more than one stone on there. Most people don't see it. Yes, I saw that. There are a total of five. The other, the other four are kind of itty bitty things. But they're so pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. So yay, YouTube knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> YouTube. So basically, the whole world and our families <laughs> are going to find out slowly. <laughs> I need to make a phone call to my mama, which is what I call my grandma. It's what I call my grandmother, which is kind of funny. Because we... We did not know each other growing up, so it was kind of a total surprise when early on she disclosed that to me, and it's like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. That's I was what surprised I call my too. grandmother. <laughs> and then Simba approved, too. Yes, yes, he did. But he's just chilling right now. Looks like he just had lunch. I was trying to do, say... I, do I lick my paw, or do I not? That is the question. <laughs> Tis the question. He's hidden behind my head. My big fat head. <laughs> yep. There he is. <laughs> Just chilling on the couch. It's almost like I'm in a freaking uh, blue screen or, or green screen area because I'm wearing blue. I couldn't do a blue screen. No. Yeah, and I have my Niku hoodie and a Deadpool shirt on. <laughs> yes. Now, now to continue our taste test, shall we? Yes, yes. Let's After try the little fiasco of the tapioca snacks. <laughs> Hey, you're the one I'm going to try them. At least the South Summer Sunflower Seeds, I am impressed. Yes, they are. They are very good. They're very good. They are delicious. I'm surprised uh, m and haven't decided to do that yet. We have to always do multiple Sunflower Seeds in the little round m and Oh, come on. <laughs> I have it. a box cutter. Or he does carry a knife with him, which is nice. I'm always armed, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Texas. Yeah, we do live in Texas, unfortunately. That's all we will tell you. Unfortunately, in certain areas in Texas, we don't get a whole lot of snow, which I'm obsessed with snow. It smells interesting. It's my uh, my personal YouTube account. It's called... smell like fish. Snow moogle? Yep. Two of my, my two greatest... One of my two greatest loves. Snow and Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this.
Not bad. Oh, there's the fish. There's the fish. Blech. Okay, those are going in the trash. Hey, at least it's not the... At least it's not the durian fruit crap that we saw there. They have durian fruit flavored Lay's chips. Mm. <laughs> That's nasty. Didn't the people on a Irish People Tries have those? Or something like that? I think so. Oh. At least the mini churros are a good last one. I hope. Mom, thank you for helping me. And I do love the ring, and thank you so much for helping you. <laughs> yeah, I... Whew. I'm still... My heart's still beating, and I'm still shaking like a leaf. But, yeah, right now, not a whole lot of people know. Well, kind of, sort of. I'm sure this will get a lot of views, considering. So, should we try the mini churros? Yes, yes, after that little fish. Yeah. I love churros. We I, I'm sorry guys, we had to do something that wasn't gonna taste very good. I was, I had hopes, because I, if they do have uh, shrimp chips, which are made from shrimp. And, and we've had are, those Those before. are delicious, those are good. Nice. <laughs> I called my mom, so she knows, she's texted, she's celebrating. Since we don't, my mom's at work, so she probably just said, What? <laughs> and probably got a lot of weird looks from her co workers. <laughs> yeah. My mom's actually retired, and she travels with her boyfriend uh, all over the place, all over the US. Usually right. between places. Yeah, right now they're down south oh, somewhere. Oh, oh, that's so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, So okay, I, had a, I texted her a picture, and she said, What? So I was like, you what are you trying first? to tell me? <laughs> Via text? <laughs> and so I called her, I was like, I wanted to show you the ring first. <laughs> and she kind of, yeah. And then I texted our best, our really good friend, best friend. She's the one that actually helped us get together. So of course I had to text her and let her know. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's delicious. Not bad. Oh, they're really good. Yeah. That's definitely an eight. That's on the scale. You know what? For me, that's know, an eight. You know what this would be good with? Hmm. The boar's head chocolate hummus. Ooh. With this cinnamon and chocolate? Now, oh, that personally, would be good. personally, guys, I am not a fan of hummus at all. In almost any form except that one. The chocolate hummus. But the it dessert tastes more hummus. like pudding slash it does. mousse. It has that nice chocolatey flavor. Yes, it is still made with the same ingredients. It's just, it has chocolate in there. It makes it, it lightly sweet. It just changes the flavor so much that I love it. They also have a Christmas rendition where it has mint, too. Ooh, we have to try that one sometime. If they ever bring it back, it's a Christmas one. Yeah, it, it'll have to be, it'll be a seasonal item. We'll have to try it when it gets close to Christmas next now, year. Since we, we didn't start soon enough on our taste test, this is kind of, we're still doing it. We love doing it. It's actually kind of fun. Yeah. Hey, we, got, we have four viewers right now, so. Say hi. We're friendly. Uh, hopefully the chat is working, guys. Let if, me go check. Cause... Yeah, you might want to check that just in case. It's probably got a few congratulations in there, probably. But the thing is, our chat is not working where we can see it. So yeah, we it's, go... be, it's been kind of a pain in the ass lately. So most of my chats, like at night, when I've been doing the live streams of Horizon. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. Sorry for the delays. We finally got a chance to look at the tech, but yes, we got a we got these at a store called Ninety Nine Ranch. Mm -hmm. I've only been to one. It's like what South Plano, and then somewhere up north in the upper area. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I. If, if, again, as I said earlier, if you guys love Asian food like I do, it is a great place to get all the ingredients you need for your own Asian dinners or just for snacks like these. Yep. We, we bought a whole bunch of other stuff. We decided not to do all of it in one go. Yeah, that might We're be a little We're going to try and spread much. out for a couple streams. Should we uh, do our unboxing next? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's go ahead. Oh, I've set it over there. Yes, you did. I set mine right on the, the little desk next to me so I could actually grab it. Well, if you're wondering about the pendant that I'm wearing right here, 
This is something I got up in Yellowstone a couple years ago. That's a uh, gray wolf. So, the unboxing is... Our copies of Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> and I save. I'm about to drop things. I got the Xbox One because I have an Xbox One. I'm obviously a PS4 user, as you guys have noticed from the fact that I am always streaming from here. Or, and I have not gotten my Kinect camera yet. I'm trying to find, find one. Surprisingly, it's actually harder than you think. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, let's see yours. And of course, we uh, we got the little deluxe model. We got the deluxe. Plus, we actually did the insurance. I rarely ever do the insurance on anything. But with this. Wow. So here we have the art book. Let's take a look at this thing. Can you pass me my box card? It should tear. Yeah. There we go. I have nubs for nails at this point in time. Alright. Sora looks pretty cool like that. I agree. I'm mean, just going through the art, art book. book. Kyrie looks good too. Yeah. She's definitely aged pretty they've aged her up pretty well. I think they've aged all of them up pretty well. Sora's definitely grown into his hair and his shoes, finally. All of them have. Remember, all of them had those big, bulky shoes. But that's because, again, as I've noticed before, and I've, I've made note of this, is the fact that they are transitioning from the world of Disney to Final Fantasy. As If you've noticed in the game, they've, things have gotten darker and darker as they've gone. Oh, Larzine. Look at her. Oh, wow. What of her actual name was? I think it's pronounced Lars Lars Oh, I guess we could. <coughs> it probably will say. Well, it's probably in Dream Drop Distance because that's where you find out Axel's actual name is Lee. We'll actually find that out in Birth by Sleep. Okay. Oh, okay. That's what it is. Yeah, the case. This is the case. So you can actually use this case, or you can use this case. Yeah. I'm gonna use this case. Although it's not gonna stay in that case for very long. I'm gonna actually probably pack that case away because I have a gigantic uh, game case over there. Oh, they have the Sora's journey. Oh, good. Let me guess, Recode is just kind of off to the side somewhere, isn't it? Actually, it's not in the line at all. Why does that not surprise me? Oh, no, here it is. It's recorded right before Dream Drop, Drop Distance. Okay. And of course, this pin, only available with the Deluxe Edition. Or you got the uh, the hundred and some odd dollar with the with the figure. Uh, we were not going to spend that much because it was the figure from the Toy Story game or gameplay. Actually, you know, I'm going to put this right here with this one, just in case. I'm just going to take off that sticker, that back piece, and stick it right here, just in case. That way, I keep the thing with me. Good idea. So, uh, even though I'm not going to. I'm actually no. I'm gonna put it on the other. I'm probably gonna put it on the other. One. Probably a good idea. Oh wow! They show you all the keyblades. Oops. Come on, gently, gently. Don't tear it. Don't, don't tear it, you dumbass. There we go. Yeah, it works better on that one anyway. Oh, it's got a. It has artwork for all the keyblades. Uh, at least concept. Did it show the Oathkeeper? No. <coughs> I think these are for. Concept keyblades for other worlds. Mm -hmm. Okay. World of Final Fantasy Maxima. Hmm. Go ahead and transfer that over. Yeah, I'm gonna do that to you. But yeah, I'm we're big Kingdom Hearts fans. Yes, we've been fans since early on in the game series. When it first came out, it was my first taste of uh, Final Fantasy. Well, or actually, ish. second. I got. I rented Kingdom uh, Final Fantasy X on a whim when we went to Blockbuster. Man, that sounds old. Oh yeah, we are we are old. We uh, old. When I was a kid, my brother was the one that had the PS2. I just got to play it. Like when he got to play my N64 that I got. Huh. Birth by Sleep actually comes right before three. In Sora's Journey. No, no, no. Look at the look at it. It's not the Birth by Sleep. It's Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep. Mm. It's all prequel. Okay. Um, can you, again? I'll be playing mine probably on Twitch tonight, maybe. 
I probably won't stream mine on Twitch for a couple days because I want to get into, get used to it. Maybe. I haven't decided. Plus, I want to play it on the normal mode before I do proud mode. I don't know. I haven't decided. I may just go straight into proud mode. We'll see. If it's actually available. It there's should a, be. There's a possibility it may not. We'll find out in a minute. We're going to be switching over to Twitch. To actually, are, we, are we doing that today? We might. We'll think on it. Yeah, we haven't decided yet. I mean, with the fact that we just got the game... We kind of want to play it ourselves as well. Yeah, we don't want to be completely... Well, it's going to be fun to be surprised and... It would. I think that would make for a better, better viewing experience for people. Oh, we have eight people watching. Thank you. Thank you for coming online. Hi there. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and ask. We'll try to keep an eye on, on the chat. Or I will, since the chat up there is not working. Yeah, because, uh, you know, PS, or YouTube. PS, uh, it could be, I, we're still working on some copyright claims. Yeah, that's why we're not going to be streaming the uh, Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts, Hearts on, on YouTube at all. We, we, we learned our lesson really quickly on that one. Yeah, we were playing Atlantica. <coughs> yes. Which, the theme is... The background music is under the sea. Oh, so these are the sheep, the concept Some. weapons for Goofy and Donald. Yeah. Nice. Some of the characters and stuff like that. Attractions, gummy ship enemies. Cool. This was definitely worth the purchase. And worth the wait, in my opinion. Yes. Hard act regis registration. Very important for that. <laughs> come on, come on. Yes, yes, I've been through this already. Yes, we have. We both have. Alright, they gotta be loaded. <laughs> that is much better. I feel safe now that's in its case. Oh wow, I'm gonna have to take out my Monster Hunter World disc. I haven't taken that disc out in a long time. Yeah, I haven't taken most of my games out either. children three under three years because of sharp point. Uh, 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 no freaking duck. Be nice. Sometimes uh, somebody's stupid that people really you're that stupid. <coughs> should we give it a try? Should we play Kingdom Hearts 30 or should we wait? I uh, will probably wait until later tonight. Good idea. Uh, for now, guys, we're actually going to go ahead and log off for the for the day. We'll be back. We should be back later today, either here or we'll be back on Twitch. Okay. Bye. See ya.